Hey guys, and welcome back to our classroom. So for you who missed the class today, this is where we're going to be doing some small group math, okay? So we're going to do a little math work, and we're working with things that are bigger and smaller. Now we say bigger, smaller, and bigger and smaller are opposites, opposites, not the same. We've talked about that in class, and we're going to continue working on it now, okay? We're going to go over things that are bigger and things that are small. Now, we're going to do a little game, and I'm going to show you some pictures. And you have to decide which item is bigger, okay? Now, remember, something that is bigger means that it's got some good size to it, something big. Kind of like if you thought about me and maybe you. I'm bigger than you are, and you are smaller than I am, right? And just like if you think about a, hmm, let's think. Oh, I'm thinking about a big dinosaur. <sighs> Dinosaurs are, are really big, right? But then you think about an ant or a little bug. That would be a lot smaller, right? So you would have dinosaur and you would have ant. Opposites, big and small, not the same. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and let's play our game. Now what you're going to need is you are going to need your alphabet board, all right? Real quick, I'm going to show you what I have in front of me, all right, because you're going to have to circle the letter of the, the right answer, all right? I have a board in front of me, and you're going to need a board in front of you too, all right, with A, B, C, D, E, and F, all right? And here it is. There's the board, all right? And you're going to circle the letter for the picture that is bigger. Let me go ahead and share my screen, and we'll get started. Okay, and I'm over there. Hey, hey guys, who are, how are you? And we're going to play bigger or smaller. Which is bigger? Let's look at our first picture. Mm. And look what A is. A is an elephant. Can you say elephant? Good job. So let's see. A is an elephant, and B is a mouse. Can you say mouse? Elephant, mouse. We're looking for the one that's bigger. All right, so take your marker, take your cap off the back, uh, top, put it on the back, and circle A or B. Which is bigger? Bigger. All right, I'm going to circle my answer. I'm looking at the pictures. Go ahead, ready? Drum roll, show your work. I chose A. I chose elephant because elephant is bigger than mouse, right? All right, good job, great work. Let's do the next one. You ready? Mm, look at this. Check this out. We have a dump truck, which is letter C, or we have a motorcycle, which is letter D. Think about a dump truck. <laughs> Loud, big carries heavy things. Now think about a motorcycle. <laughs> Smaller. Only one person can fit on it. And it goes really fast. All right, circle C or D. Which one do you think is bigger? I'm going to go circle my, my letter. All right, what letter did you choose? Let's see, which is the right picture? Drum roll, please. Which is bigger? <laughs> there it is. C for the dump truck. That dump truck is way bigger than a motorcycle. Remember, a motorcycle is small, a dump truck is big. All right, let's keep going. Here we go. Which is bigger, E, the airplane, or F, the kite? Airplane or kite? Let's see, E or F, think about this. Circle the letter for the bigger picture, the item, the bigger item, the bigger thing. Remember, airplanes soar through the air, carry a lot of people, and go to faraway places. But our friend the kite, you hold it on a string. It wavers in the wind, and it stays really kind of close to you. Let's see, what did you pick? E or F? Let's see, ready? E, that's right, it's E for our airplane. 
airplanes are huge. They're bigger than most of our houses. They're gigantic. Yeah. The kites are very small. You could fold a kite and put it in your closet. All right. So good job if you said E for airplane because they are bigger. This is a cool one. Two of my favorite things. Now yeah, I got B, a marshmallow. I had some last night. And F for pizza. I had that the other night. So these are two of my favorite foods. Now marshmallows, think about how big they are. And a pizza, think about how big a, a whole pizza is. Is it B or F? Which is bigger, B or F? Now look at my board. I got it. I'm going to circle this letter because I think this is bigger. Ready? Bang! Yes, F. Look, I circled F. And I'll highlight F. See, F. I'll float it. Ready? Woo! Woo! the F is bigger than the B, which is the marshmallow. The pizza is bigger. Pizzas are big and round, right? Big and round, like a circle. And the marshmallow is a little cylinder. It fits in the palm of your hand. You can't fit that pizza in your hand. It's too big. So I chose F. Good job. Next one, and this is one of our last ones. This is the last one. Oops, excuse me. Which is bigger? B, which is the flower, or D, which is the tree? Think about it. Flowers grow low to the ground. Trees grow really high above the ground. And those are opposites too, right? High and low. So what do you think? Is it going to be the tree bigger or is the flower bigger? Go ahead, look at your, is it B for the flower or D for the tree? Circle it. I'm going to circle this one. Drum roll, please. Did you choose D for the tree? That's right. The tree is bigger. The flower is smaller. Good job, guys. And you learned some letters, too. We found the A, the C, D, E, and F. Great job. Good working with me today. So that is our, our activity for math today, bigger and smaller. We found out that the tree was bigger than the flower. We found out that the plane was bigger than the kite. We found out that the pizza was bigger than the marshmallow. We found out that the, let's see, elephant, elephant was bigger than the mouse. So we know that there are things, oh, one more, the dump truck was bigger than the motorcycle. And we know that big and small are opposites. Opposites, not like the same. Good job, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully, I see you live. Have a great night.